I don't go to the mall. Uh oh, not the middle finger looking crooked. <laughs> oh, marriage ain't gonna help her heal. It's gotta be a daily practice. This is called free transform. Watch the car, baby. He's not gonna marry you. Duh, she told him. I'm on my way to Target. I'm so annoyed. My lip gloss just broke in the car. Maybe I was too rough with it. I don't know, but it's cracked. This is the color of Tris Lishes. I just put it on this lip. Oh my gosh. <sighs> anyway, welcome to a new vlog. Listen, this is the, on my lip right now is the Mima chocolate chip liner. I don't like the liner. I don't like the liner. It's too dark. It looks like black on me. It's too dark. Ugh. And I'm starting to feel like this, uh, this, what you call it, 470 shade Fenty Beauty Pro Filter 470 is not my shade. I'm starting to feel like it's not my shade. It's really red. That's how I feel at least. I mean, right now it may not look red, but it definitely felt red when I was looking in the mirror and I was like, oh my God, is this thing not my shade? Like, what are we doing right now? I'm trying to figure out if I want to put this camera up or not. But I'm so turned off. I think it's not my shade. If it's not my shade, I'm going to be so annoyed. Uh. Anyway, I'm going to Target because I want to go find some shorts. You know, I don't have shorts. I used to have shorts back in the day, but I got rid of all of them because I don't like showing my legs. But then I had a revelation to live my life. So I'm living my life. And in order to live my life the best way that I can, I need shorts. I don't have shorts that fit me, so I gave them away. They were, they were a size 10. The booty done grown. It ain't no size 10 anymore. You know what I'm so I'm going to Target in hopes to find some shorts. So let's go to Target. Okay, so you know how I made my perfume travel, whatever, travel friendly? This is the one I have in my purse right now. The Eugene Line Blum with perfume. Let me do a little bit of this. I like to smell good at all times. We've talked about this already. Hopefully you do as well. It's just good for your legacy <laughs> just in general why not who doesn't want to smell good if you don't want to i question your integrity <laughs> i want to go look at the jeans and the t-shirts right we talked about that already and then i want to take a look at the makeup because if they have let's say a new product or new products i'd love to grab it and do a video See, here's the problem. I'm here for clothes and makeup, right? But they have this swimsuit sec section, and I see a really nice orange swimsuit. Not that I need a swimsuit. I already have several, many that I haven't worn yet. But I love orange. Orange just looks really great on brown skin. Look at this dress. Oh, it's a cover-up. That is so cute. Let's see, this is the problem. I never come in this section, per se, so I don't really know where to go. Okay, so here are shorts. God, I gotta find shorts that are gonna go over my booty. This is the problem. All right, I found these. I think I'm gonna have to go with a size 14 for space. But these look like they're gonna be booty chokers. We're gonna see. Twat chokers? We're gonna find that out. We're gonna find this out. But they're having a sale, which is nice. Look at my cart. Such a problem. Here. All right, here is what I'm about to try on, but I'm gonna wait and buy what I'm gonna buy and actually do a try and haul video for Target and make it separate. I swear they know exactly what they're doing when they make this place so bright and inviting. It just wakes you up. If you're asleep when you walk into the beauty section, you're awake right away. Like awake and ready to buy. Yo, I have an issue with Target. $200 later. Like, what did we get for $200? Lord, my God. Listen, it is mad hot. I don't even know what I just bought. $200? I don't even know what I just bought. Why is that a problem? Because it's a problem. Yo, <laughs> good morning. Listen, I I was just talking to a friend who's basically family about a lot of things. And what I do value at this point in my life is fruitful relationships. Relationships that are more than just the fluff. There's more to life than just fluff. You feel what I'm saying? And in the conversation, we, we we talk about a lot of deep things. You know, you have friends for different, not for different reasons, that but friends that fill different roles in your life. For instance, you may have friends that you just travel with. You may have friends that you just go out with. You may have friends that you just meet with at church. You may have friends that you just see on holidays. And then you may have friends who you have a lot of deep conversations with. 
And I do believe that it's okay to have friends in those different areas, like compartmentalize them. They may not all be the same friends. We can't expect the same friends to be the ones that you have deep relationships with. You ha you talk about Christ with, you go to church with, church with, you travel with, you go out with. You may not have friends that fill all of those buckets, but there might be different friends or like one friend that does each, depending on how big your friendship circle is. We talk about a lot of things, which I absolutely love. And one of the most recent conversations today, in fact, my Cuticles are so ridiculous. I, oh, I'm using this first aid. Beauty Oat Hemp Multifix Salve. Okay. So we were talking about a lot of things and it reminded me, our conversation reminded me of this podcast I was listening to from Trey Shelton. I like to listen to watch podcasts. You know, I like to watch Grace for Purpose, Above Inspiration. They're both on YouTube. I'm all about edifying myself. I'm not sure if I showed you the books that I had just bought. I'm still making my way through. Uh, anyway, right, whatever. And to some that might be overwhelming, but growing and learning and being a better person is not overwhelming to me. And I do what it takes because I really just, I've come a long way and I thank God for that. And it's only up from here. So I have to keep on going. So we were talking and it reminded me of this podcast from Trent Shelton where he talked about why something about, I forget the title, but it was basically about why the people around you don't support you, something like that. And what I got from it is that essentially many times, oh, this is, this is a lip gloss that messed up the, the NYX one. I was getting it from the car and I had it on my hands and got it on my robe. So for instance, right, we, we might be doing something in our lives or not, but you just want support from a certain person or from certain people. You may want support from that certain person or from certain people and that person, let's say a person, it's just too much person, people, it's too much. That person might not be supporting you the way you want them to, right? What I got from that is that there are a few reasons why someone might not be supporting you. Number one, maybe the level of support or the level of love that you want from them, they're not able to give for whatever reason. They're guarded, they're scarred, they're not healed, what have you. Maybe they don't know how to support you. Maybe they you need to teach them or tell them, this is what I want from you in order for them to do it. Maybe they're so close to you that they don't see you like others see you so maybe it's someone that knows you so well knows your flaws and all and now here you are trying to do great things and they're looking at you like girl ain't you the one that girl please you mm -mm, you there's no way right they see you in this negative way because they know too much about you and they don't see what god sees in you or what others who don't know all your background story see in you for instance there might be someone who don't know you from Adam, but you're online or whatever, you're a celebrity, whoever, you know, and they see you and they're rooting for you like, yeah, you got this, you can do this. But then it could be someone that is in your family or whatever, just knows you really well, knows you from before you came into this new person. And then they, they're looking at you like, please, right? And that can be painful because we might want a certain person to celebrate us, to acknowledge us, to edify us, to encourage us. And when that person doesn't do it for whatever reason, it's offensive and it's hurtful because behind offense is hurt. And then we, we wrestle with that emotion and it can turn to anger, it can return to bitterness, what have you. But when she and I were talking, it was like, you know, not everybody is on a journey to grow and to learn and to be better. So once you recognize that this person ain't supporting me and it's probably because they're jealous or they don't have the capacity or they're too stuck on my, flo my flaws in order to actually, which is hindering them from actually seeing what I can do and how, you know, I have this purpose in my life. If they're stuck on that, we have to free them from that expectation to support us. And then also free ourselves from waiting and being bitter that that person isn't supporting us. And obviously it's easy said, easier said than done. It's a painful thing. And believe me, through therapy and just learning and reading and growing, this is how I'm coming upon all of this information. And I share it because it is so important. So many of us are in bondage to people and things and circumstances that have been very, very painful. I'm not discounting the pain. I've been there. But it's so important to free that person from either their their conscious decision not to support or their unconscious decision not to support. Free that person 
and then free ourselves from the disappointment of that person not supporting or loving or encouraging or calling or whatever. It's just a life, one of the many life lessons that I've learned and I continue to learn. And you do it without bitterness, right? It's one thing to be all like, that's fine. I don't even care, whatever. She can do whatever she want to do. That, that has nothing to do with me. I, it don't bother me, oh, all right? And you know good and well, when you do all the neck and stuff, you know good and well, you're still bitter about it. You know what I'm saying? But if you can do it and be like, honest to God, it's okay. I have Christ, I have one or two or three or whomever is supporting you, even though it might not be blood, you might expect a certain person or certain people to do whatever. And when they don't do that, it can really uh, stifle our growth. If we just get to a point where we're just like, you know what, it's all good. It really and truly is all good. This is what I wanted. It's not what has happened. And that's okay. I'm not going to allow that to be a stumbling block for me and my growth and what I know God has put in my put in me to do and what I know is coming ahead of me. A lot of people who know us very well, we can't take with us when we go in places because they know too much and it it fogs their it fogs their goggles, it fogs their vision when it comes to us. And you might want that person to see you in a certain way to celebrate you. And if they can't do it, that just it just is what it is, baby. And this is not about anybody specific. This was a and this is not about anybody specific. This was a general conversation we were having that was really, really good. And it was just like, yo, man, yo, in life, if you ain't trying to grow, I really don't know what you're doing. And I have, and I say that because I used to be her, where growth and learning and healing and all these things wasn't on my mind. You get me? Please. So now it's just like, wow, had I learned these lessons years, years, years ago, it would have really saved me from a lot of pain and frustration. This is getting darker. It would have saved me from a lot of pain and frustration and anger, you know, violence. But here we are. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. I'm getting ready to go to church today. I serve today. If you don't know, I serve on our worship team and I'm scheduled today. These chin pimples are irritating. Yeah, so I serve today. I'm getting ready. I haven't opened a new bag of sponges in a long time. The thing is, the ones I have are all dirty. I don't like, I don't feel like washing them. That's what it is. Yeah, I do not feel like washing them. So I opened a new bag. These are from Amazon. The whole five bag is five five sponges is eight dollars. I love these. They're very, very good. Affordable. Look at all this stuff in the background. <laughs> Clothes to shoot in, packages to send, my marker board. Oh no, that's a like a board with coats and things. Yeah, from I cannot get my mind straight. It's 5 a.m. Quotes and things from Home Goods. Obviously, my lights, my desk, my wig. <laughs> yes, so I'm going to go soak this and get started on my makeup. I keep telling myself, if I'm not going to film, I don't need to sit there and then turn on all my lights. I'll just sit right here on my ottoman and do my makeup. So there's what I'm about to do right now. Yo, so ideally, I would have worked out this morning. That's what I wanted to do, <laughs> but here we are. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know what look I'm gonna do. I was going back and forth with what I was gonna wear because of course there are guidelines on what we can and can't wear. So I try to stay simple, but obviously I wanna look and feel cute. So I'm gonna wear this taupe colored sweater. It's summertime, right? It feels strange even putting on a sweater, but it's inside church and it's gonna be their AC will be on. Not only that, yeah. I mean, it ain't time to be having tank tops and all kind of other stuff. So I'm going to wear a sweater. Okay, that's just what that is. I'm trying to get this tape off so I can open up this palette. Yes, yeah, so I went to bed like a, a 10 ish or something. Or whatever. And that is late for the kid. You understand what I'm saying? But I was editing and then I was watching something on my phone. It was YouTube and I was like, you know what? I need to go to bed. You know what I do watch? Ready to, I watch a lot of, well, not a lot of shows, but we don't talk about shows. Should we do that? Between Married to Medicine and Potomac and Ready to Love Houston and what's that other one that just started back up again? 
Oh, what is it called? Put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. Would they date other people? I'm just like, wow. When I was single, would I have done any of these shows? Probably. <laughs> I literally probably would have, which is, well, obviously not married to medicine. All right, so, okay. Yeah. Now let's talk about sponges. When you, when we say use a damp sponge, I have a feeling that people are just running water over this and then considering it a damp sponge. What you're really supposed to do is soak it through and through. So when your sponge is dry, it's smaller. Put it under running water and squeeze until the sponge completely expands. What you're doing is you're getting water into the very center of the sponge. That is how you want the sponge to be. Then squeeze it out well. I have nails on, so what I do is squeeze it out well, and then I take a paper towel or a towel, and then I squeeze it out again. Because of my nails, I go like this. And I'm even gonna do it again. I do it again when I come sit down to get out any last remnants of water that are, there's just too much water in here, basically. So you wanna do that because when you squeeze your sponge, you want there to be no water dripping. That is when you have a damp sponge. If there's water dripping, your sponge is wet. It's not damp. I'm gonna do a, a video on it separately and show you the difference between when you blend your concealer with a dry sponge, a wet sponge, and a damp sponge. So comment below if you want that video. But yeah. Listen, you oh, Jesus. oh. <laughs> I, I, I paused it. I was like, what? Yeah, so now my sponge is damp. It basically feels cold. It basically feels cold. When I did this, I'm not getting water onto my skin. I mean, I feel wet a little bit, but it feels cold. That's damp. I don't, I don't be using the sponge that has water dripping out. I've done it on accident before when I was in a rush and didn't pay attention. And it really messes up the makeup. And I will show you in that video. Alrighty, here we go. Now, getting ready. Boom. It's 5.30, I gotta go. I'm outside. I'm gonna get to my car right now from church. It's so only even outside. This lens is foggy. Or is it not? Okay. It's not foggy this time. It normally is. It is mad hot in the car. Turn this so It smells so good. This was part of the rituals box that was sent to me. Love it. it smells just like Japanese cherry blossom. Hi. Normally we sing three songs. Sometimes two, usually three songs. Today was just one because we have the summer blockbuster series where we watch a movie and then our pastor breaks down spiritual principles in the movie. I'm not saying that correctly, but essentially the different meanings and things that happen in the movie, he breaks it down in a, like he applies it. How do you say he applies the Bible to it? Girl, I don't know how to break it all down, okay? But it was really great. It was really great. It's it's always old movies, obvi, not anything <laughs> currently in the movie theaters, okay? It's steamy out here today. It's raining. It's a rainy day. It's been raining for days on days on days. Right now, it's not raining, but it was earlier, and it's supposed to today. Although, obvi, we want to go see fireworks tonight, so we're going to see about that. I am so sleepy because I got up at 4. However, I do need to go to the mall to go and have my ring inspected and cleaned. That's something that I was supposed to be doing all the time, but I haven't done in a while. So I have to go do that. And then I need to return some stuff at Nike. You know, Nike takes stuff back whenever, apparently. It's stuff that I got a while ago that it's too, either too small or too big. So I need to go and exchange never worn them tags on them obby so i need to go to the mall i don't go to the mall i used to go to the mall a lot with my sister because she loves to go to the mall and to me the mall is something you do in a pair because it's so it's a social thing by myself though uh-uh i don't be going to the mall so stuff just be I, anyway so i'm gonna go today i'm gonna go get eat and then go to the mall i'm gonna stop by smoothie king right now it's 11:45. I'm gonna get a smoothie. I like to put the angel food slim. You already know that. 
and I'm gonna change because I have this sweatshirt on, Avi, but it's huh, it's hot. It was cold inside church, so it's perfect, but it's 80 degrees outside, so this is not gonna, it's not gonna fly right now, you understand? So yeah, that's what I'm doing around. have small talk with my husband and then come back in and get re but re okay i just came home <laughs> to get my nike stuff and i got a piece of chicken i'm making chicken right and let me just show you what i mean by eating without messing up your lipstick <laughs> first of all this is a matte lip obvi right and then if this is gross to you just fast forward i want to just show you so watch how i bite it and how i eat right Blotting the inside, oils, right? Blot immediately because a lot of the oil and the juices on your lips, it's gonna break it down. So now look at my lip. Now, I. <clears throat> I was cleaning the, I, not cleaning the inside. You know how the inside from talking this stuff be all crusty? I was doing this to clear it out while I was at church. So a little bit of the inside did come off from that. But then of course, just now with the food, you know, blotting it with the tissue that happened around my nose is a little oily, but that's okay. I went to Lancome Tante Idole foundation today. My color is 555 Suede C. I didn't sweat much because we only did one song today at church. And then, well, I don't have the original bag, so I have my stuff in a Target bag. What kills me about using a bag that's not the actual bag is that <laughs> anyone who has worked retail knows that if you don't have a bag of a brand that is at the mall, you automatically look suspicious. <laughs> under the armpits looking all crazy I realized recently that it's been a while since I've shown you anything related to editing so here we go I'm gonna show you how I create the intro for my videos you know I just double this up cut and paste so now we have two they're going to be on top of one another. I use this box down here. This is called free transform. And then I'm moving it up and I need to make it a little larger. So I do that. I need to expand it more is what I just did. Same with the bottom one. Although I could have expanded it before cut and paste, copying and pasting, but it is what it is. Oop, expand that a little bit. And then my my thumbnail is going to go right here in the middle, but I haven't done that yet. So back to my weekly vlog. Here we are. Oh, I need my thumbnail first. Ooh, I need to get my thumbnail. Hold on. Mr. Go. Darian going on a second date with Kai. My thing is, you keep going on multiple dates with Kai. That sounds like a damn relationship. I'm watching put a ring on it. <laughs> can you give him... He can have all the space he wants. Ma'am, I'm being honest. So take all but the space... But that's a need. defensive reaction. That's not a truthful reaction. Because that's not really what you mean. Mm -hmm. If you didn't have a lot vested in these relationships, you wouldn't be here. Yeah. When you came here, you were at an impasse. You gotta do some things differently to get past an impasse. Get Yo, do you watch the show? Ready? No, not ready to love. This is put a ring on it. Do you watch the show? This stuff is so wild. To be in a relationship that has come to an impasse and then go on this show to, at the end, determine whether or not the man is gonna put a ring on it. So in the show, they are both allowed to date other people and it obviously is dramatic and emotion filled because how could you be with someone for 10, five years and then now he or she is dating somebody else. They be touching and kissing and all kind of stuff. 
I can't even imagine it. Listen, it's entertaining, but is this realistic? Like, come on, yo. If you're with somebody for five years and they haven't, they don't want to marry you. I mean, what? Like, it's already clear. It's already clear. Is it not already clear? Like, I don't get it. Is that not already clear? The person, the man has made his decision. He's not going to marry you. I don't get it. Like, I'm not going to wait five years. No way. <laughs> That's just my personality, okay? When you're 15 years old, okay, I understand that. When you're 20, 25, 30, 40, I'm not, no. Five years, absolutely not. You already knew what you knew, and what you knew is you ain't going to marry me. I'm not waiting that long. Absolutely not. No, sir. Give each other some room to grow and give some possibility that you don't know all the answers yet. Otherwise, why would you be here? I like the whole thing. She's so sweet. I'm not trying to hurt me, but I see these dates or tools to tighten up our relationship with each other. Gentlemen, I Yeah, so you're basically going on a date to see if where you at is where you should be or if you feel like there's some more out there. My thing is, before you even went on a date, you already knew that where you were at ain't it. Either either the woman felt that way or the man. You don't need to go on another date to get confirmation about whether or not where you at is it. It's always the women that want to get married and it's the men who are hesitant. Yo, if he's hesitant and it's been five, ten years, the tent ain't going to hesitate. The hesitant ain't going to tent. He don't want to marry you. He's not interested. Sometimes they believe, oh, let's be together forever and just be life partners and all of this. That's all cool and cute. But God forbid you die on me. I have nothing to take care of me and my children. Are you crazy? <laughs> that obviously is not the only way to get ma reason to get married. I'm just giving an example. Because who was it that somebody passed and the state wouldn't acknowledge the f woman as the common law wife. Was it DMX? I don't want to misspeak. It was in the news. The state they lived in would not acknowledge the woman as a common law wife. Therefore, that woman had rights to nothing. I mean, just nothing. And again, I'm not saying you should get married so you can have life insurance. I'm not some of that. I'm just saying. You give your life to somebody for five, ten years. What are you getting out of it? Besides about 10 years. And we didn't talk about, we didn't talk about this whole concept of staying because it's been so long and you just don't, you don't want to feel like you've wasted your time. So you just stay and stay and stay and stay and stay until maybe hopefully one day you get what you want, which is marriage. First of all, marriage ain't going to help or heal. It's going to highlight. Okay, let's talk about it. Marriage is going to highlight all your problems and all his problems, number one. It ain't going to help her heal, honey. It's going to highlight. And unmarried people don't know that. Usually it's the women who want to get married. I get it. They don't know all of that, you know? And so the prize feels like the marriage. And it's like, yo. That's a whole different conversation. But what I'm trying to say is five, ten years? Absolutely not. You're not going to waste my time for five or ten or 12, or eight, or six, or even four years at my age. This is my age. You know, people's ages are different. They have, you know, longer timelines, shorter timelines. Not saying that everyone wants to get married. I'm just saying in this particular situation, it's entertainment. It's very entertaining to watch, but it's also nauseating because I'm like, yo, you ain't got to do all of this for a man to make a decision. He already made his decision. He ain't going to marry you. And if he marries you after this, it's like, this is what it took for him to do that. He couldn't make a decision just when he was with me. He had to date somebody else and fill up on her and take her out and kiss her and, and almost be lusting after her in order for him to see that he needed to stay where he was. Hey. Yeah, this is where I got to be. Tell us, you walking it out. Roll your shoulders. What up? So, I just got a package in from Shein and my Target package came in. Remember how I ordered shorts from Target? They came in too, I haven't opened it yet. My Shein stuff came in, so now I have more than enough swimsuits that I need for our family vacation. I'm gonna add these two yellow ones. Should I take two yellow or just one yellow? Maybe just one yellow. I'm gonna do one yellow. All right, I'm gonna do this. Now I don't know which is which. <laughs> it doesn't matter, okay. I'm going to do this yellow. I'm organizing a few items here that I want to take. One of 
so I have the swimsuit. I already have three packed. So this is the fourth one. And then I have other stuff. Have you heard of Brassy Bra? I bought these two years ago. Maybe three. I bought them a while ago. Never used them. So it's the braless. What's it called? You know, it's the bra. It's the bra adhesive. I saw Edis Berlin wearing that and talking about it many years ago. She swears by them. So it comes with a nipple cover and then the bra, it covers the whole breast basically. And then you, you obviously lift and then tape it onto your skin. I always avoid backless or like very deep option tops and dresses because I obviously cannot wear it without a bra. Bought these a while ago, never used them. I'm the kind of person that's like, you buy it and then don't want to waste it, don't want to use it. It's a problem. I'm breaking free from that. I said, you know what? I'm going on vacation. I'm saying, I want to look cute. And I have this one dress from Amazon that I'm going to take. I have two options that are going to end up being backless. Here is one of them. This is Amazon. Excuse me. Where is it? Okay. Here's the front of it. It ain't going to do it justice. You just have to see me put it on. And then here's the back of it. I'll link it now if you want to take a look at it. Or you can just wait and see me in it on vacation. It's going to be real cute and stuff. And then I have another outfit where it's pants and a top that is deep V that I'm going to wear. Let's see. I got two pants that I bought from. No, this is a top. Okay, that's a top. So you know that bat wing top from Shein. I'm taking it with me to wear with shorts. I'm gonna do jean shorts with it or whatever. And some high heels. I don't know which heels I'm gonna take. I have two outfits here. Oh yeah, about sandals. I wasn't sure. I was torn like, should I do sandals? Should I do high heels? Should I do both? Because sometimes where your hotel is, versus where the actual restaurants are is a little bit of a walk and I hate looking stupid in public because my feet hurt you know how that goes so I don't know I do have some really cute flat sandals that I could do and as I'm talking more I'm convincing myself to do the sandals but then again yo I have bought those purse flats when we went to Puerto Rico first of all it did not fit me Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I tried it out in the hotel because if I had worn it on that day when we were stranded in the city somewhere, wow, I would have been the black girl who's barefoot. And we really do that. Like, we don't do this kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would have been a whole entire problem. But yeah, that is one dress that I'm going to wear. I'm sure it's going to be so cute. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to see how I feel. I'm going to bring sandals as an option in case I change my mind. But of course, I want to wear that with high heels. That is the plan. Yeah. And I have these beautiful mauve pants that I got too from Shein. So cute. And then these came in a leopard wide leg. These are wide leg pant options. You heard I need to open up my Target box to see my shorts, shorts, S-H-A-W-T-S, -S, shorts, so I can see what's going on and then go from there. If you want good friends, you have to sit down and have an awkward conversation. So sit your friends down and say, hey guys, we have been gossiping. We got to stop. Like, I don't feel safe. Yo, good morning. Listen, I am, I have not had the start to my week that I need, needed, wanted at all i've had a slow week and i have to remind myself of things that i need to put into practice in order to help me be effective one of the things that i've decided is while i'm working to put my phone on silent and put it away from me working so answering emails answering comments uploading editing filming all the different things I have to put my phone away. It's so easy working at home to be like on all the time, available all the time. Well, that doesn't help because it slows me down. And I already knew this and saw this a month or so ago, but I just forgot. It's gotta be a daily practice because it's, it's hindering my productivity and I don't like that. Not only that, then I find myself looking at IG stories real quick. Let me see what's going on on IG stories real fast. No, no, I can check that out later. It's just a problem. Unless I'm on IG for a reason, then I'll check the stories, you see? Additionally, 
I got up early today, which feels really good, although I'm sleepy. I slept, what did I sleep? Did I sleep at 10? That's late, yo, I'm tired. I got up at 5.45, which was good because me didn't get up until seven. So I was like, wow, I had a long time by myself, which was great. I also was reading, which is fantastic. One of the books I'm reading is The Miracle Morning, which is really good. It's a short, quick read. And I brought it with me because Today's a wonky day and I didn't get the start I wanted, but I, I got good of enough, good of enough, wait, good of a start enough, good of enough a start, whatever, okay? I was able to read, I have my devotion, that was all good stuff. The problem, however, is I didn't get to work out. I took me to school, obviously, and then I need to go to the bank, which I never do. I was at the ATM in LA, I told y'all, I didn't even know what I was doing. I don't carry cash, I do card. Cash is filthy, but then I'm like, you need cash to tip people sometimes, so here we are, right? You give me all these what's your cash app it's just too much pressing it in first of all and second of all i redid my nails yesterday check them out yo these are mad long they do uh oh not the middle finger looking crooked <laughs> oh how did that happen i'm so annoyed uh anyway it's fine so <clears throat> i did these last night you know i had the green nails well, I have some campaigns I got to shoot that can't have distracting colored nails on. And I was like, oh man. So I took them off, but I'm doing, I'm taking, I'm jumping around. I'm taking them off in the, in the way that it's supposed to be done. So I buff off the top layer, soak a cotton ball, piece a piece of a cotton ball, like the nail salon. Soak a piece of the cotton ball, put it on my finger, put the aluminum foil, not for basic, aluminum foil. I put the aluminum foil on it and then I, I'm in line at Starbucks. And then I, you know, wrap it and I sit there 20 minutes and boom, it's off. So that is what I did. And I did these last night. It wasn't much. I was watching a video while I was doing it. So yeah, I, today, this morning, I'm killing time between now and nine, which is almost up because I need to go to the bank and the bank don't open until nine o'clock. I gotta go do something. I still feel hungry. Okay, I drank two bottles of water so far and it's 8.20 in the morning. That is huge, okay? I have I obviously have my jug, but it wasn't full and I need to clean it. I need to clean the straw. I didn't have time to sit there and wait for it to fill up. I just took out bottles of water. So I took out eight bottles of water that I'm planning to drink today. And I've already drank two. Wow, so I need to go to the bathroom and I'm here like, uh, is this Starbucks open for business? Because I need to get down and use the bathroom. So there's that, I'm getting a drink to help curb my hunger. I don't know about you, but I can't do, you know how people do liquid diets and smoothie diets and all this stuff? They're enticing, but when I'm hungry, I don't know about you, but I literally feel so weak and it's my stomach starts to feel really hot it's just a very very bad situation for me so what i do in the morning since i eat at 12 12 1 is i drink coffee and coffee is an appetite suppressant it helps me to calm down my stomach and allow me to wait and i like to just eat less times in a day i don't need to eat 16 times in a day okay i like to feel light so yeah and then after i do that then i need to go home and film but here's the thing I've noticed with me, when I film later in the day, my energy just isn't there. I just, I need to get started early in order for the energy to be going, for the vibe to be vibing. So by the time I get home, it'll be 11 and I haven't even worked out yet. That's the problem. I would have, ideally, I would have worked out already. So that by the time I do all these things and go home, all I gotta do is shower and then start filming. Well, if I wanna work out, which I need to, then I won't start filming until one o'clock. And then I pick Nini up at four. That's three hours. It's not a lot when you want to film like four videos. So, you know, I'm just, I'm learning to be flexible. My week didn't go how I wanted. It wasn't as productive as I would have liked for it to be, but it is no big deal. I am ahead. I just, I, I, have, I have a lot to do. I have, I have stuff to do. Hi, I'm from the Starbucks. I'm going to get today. Hi there. Hi, I would like a, what do I want actually? Okay, I would like an iced latte with, what do I want? Hold on. <laughs> with both of the, wait, what do I want? What do I want? Both of the uh, skinny syrups. What do you have? Low carb syrup. What's it called? Sugar free syrups. Sugar free. So yep. right now the only sugar free syrup I have available is going to be my sugar free vanilla. All right. 
So that iced latte and uh, what, what 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 milk do you put in it? Half and half? The default for lattes are milk is going to be two percent. Okay. Yeah. We have um, almond milk, coconut milk, soy milk, oat milk, and then um, the regular like two percent whole milk, okay. milk. All right, let me do it with almond milk, please. Okay. And yeah, that's it. I want it to be sweet, please. Oh, a medium. I'm so confused when I go so to Starbucks. The medium, iced latte, sugar-free vanilla, and almond milk. Yes, please. Okay. Anything else for you today? No, thanks. All right, total is going to be fresh. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Why is this so confusing? Maybe it's because I'm tired. I'm still sleepy. I feel groggy. I couldn't even get my, my act together. I know what I want from here. What's the problem? I'm... Uh, anyway, so <laughs> not me doing the headbang. Yes, my hair's itching. I need to wash it. Ask about coffee travelers. Yo, I need to use the bathroom. I need to <laughs> use the bathroom. Let me get my app, you know what I'm saying? Because I do have, what's it, tickets, points, what you call this? I need to go to bed, this is sick. Where we at? What, sign in? <gasps> what? Good morning. Hi, Hi good there. morning. Uh, this signed me out, that's so strange. <laughs> uh, I don't have time for this right now. Huh? You can take no, 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 it's okay, this is okay, it's too, it's too much, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Since when does this sign me out? What in the, what in tarnation is going on right now? How's your morning going? You know what? It could be better, but I'm I'm grateful to be alive. Right? Yeah. I definitely felt that this morning. Yes. How about you? It's uh could be better, but so happy to be here. Honestly. Honestly. What? I don't know my password. Let's just say this morning's been pretty weird. E uh -huh. Yeah, and then the rain doesn't help, right? Oh, not at all. Nope. I'm just glad and, it's not raining on me. Oh, I know, because that does, you don't have a, oh, you have a little hood, but not oh, really. Okay. If, it just, if it's, it's rainy and windy. Yeah, it's straight into me. I'm just like, here's your things. Be, uh, I was so scared of that for yesterday, because I was working this too. Yeah. And like, the clouds looked so bad. It's not just started raining, like, almost as soon as I got off work. No way. Yeah, so I was so glad I got to leave before it got rained Oh on. my gosh, that's horrible. <laughs> Why is this working? This is sick. I can't. Oh, wow, fantastic. Can I have a show, please? Oh, of course. I hope this is sweet. Here you go. Thanks have so much. Day. Bye bye. If I'm sweet, I'll just deal with it. Woo! Yo, okay. Watch the car, okay? Y'all watch the car. <laughs> we got this on recording. Anybody trying to come in here after this? They're going to see the camera and be like, oh, let me steal that camera. <laughs> I'm on Candy Camera. I'm on Candy Camera. Smile. You're on Candy Camera. Let me go. I'm acting up. I got to go to the bathroom. Watch the car, baby. Watch the car, baby. If anybody come, just start screaming. You better be careful what you do to me. Cause somebody might do it to you. Yo, you know one thing I can't, first of all, how was it? How'd it go? Tell me. Is anybody peeking through the window? Cause last time, one of you said that somebody was looking through the window. Who was looking through the window? Who was it? And what do they look like? Give me an accurate description so I can call my people okay yo i one thing i don't like about public bathrooms is if it smells <laughs> if it this is dolce and like light, light blue body cream with this is like a water so i don't understand who's put it on their body but it smells really good listen if it smells and i go into it i will walk right back out I, there's no way I can stay in there like that. Ugh, disgusting. But secondly, if the bathroom is a, the bathroom was a mess, okay? But I thank God I had a bathroom, okay? Pretty soon. The bathroom was a freaking mess. <laughs> and I'm like, if somebody comes in here right after me and literally sees me, this guy's walking thinking, who was she talking to? Him. him. Do you see him? He was like looking at me. <laughs> if somebody walks in right after me, they're going to be like, duh! She told this place, huh? And in actuality, it wasn't me, but I had to go so badly that I 
we're getting really deep right now is that okay i'm not really sure if i should go down this street but i've already made the turn so yeah it's like if you walk in behind me you're gonna think i'm the reason and i'm not the reason i walked into this okay i wasn't the reason why this place smells i wasn't the reason why this place is dirty it's not me it wasn't me i hate that like i just really do so you see how i have my perfume in my in my purse i do spray the bathroom i didn't spray this when i thought about it i was like yeah i don't deserve my fragrance but i do spray the bathroom after i've left it i need some time and all because i don't want anyone behind me to think oh she bang right <laughs> Wait, what are we getting? What are we, what are we talking about right now? I don't bang, clearly. I care about my hygiene. Like, is that not already obvious, right? But, you know, like, sometimes you just, like, want to give a little spritz. And I don't, I've never purchased poopourri. <laughs> Wait, okay, we're, we're getting a little deep right now. I've never purchased poopourri, right? I guess I could carry that, but that's too big. My bag is small. I'm not doing all of that. And secondly, i just rather do fragrance. Okay, let's talk about something different. I have a headache. Do I have Tylenol? I do have water in here. Do I have Tylenol in here? Let's talk about it and let's see. Oh, well, that's his name. Do I have it in my purse? I have it in my big bag. I'm gonna film a video of what's in my bag video because I have two different bags. If he, yeah, if he had a mask stuff in it, and I think that's always an interesting video to watch. Like, what does she be carrying around every day? What is in that thing? Okay, I've wasted enough time. It's now 8.34. I'm not gonna actually have the time that I thought I was gonna have to read my book. <laughs> it's almost time for the bank to open up. Could you imagine that? Mm. All right, well, let me go park at the bank and wait for it to open up like a freak. You do not tell me that with these nails, I wouldn't be able to roll down my window or, <laughs> or open my window. Like, what is happening here? I can't do this, obviously. I had to use this to, well, pushing it down is easy. Picking it back up again, not even possible. I had to do this. Like, you didn't tell me I was gonna have to do all of that. I feel like my nails need its own channel. Like, how do I get through life with long nails? <laughs> this lighting looks so bad. It is so dreary outside because it's a rainy day, but I did just finish filming this look for YouTube, of course. And now I'm catching up on IG stories and I'm gonna go eat something. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, my IG stories, I'm watching. Tiff Benson. She's so beautiful. I'm actually watching her on my computer too. She's telling us about niche fragrances. So yeah, yeah. I'm about, hold on. I don't want to miss her stories. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'm about to go find something to eat. I feel hungry again. I had a salad earlier. It wasn't enough. It's healthy. It's great, but I'm starving. And I just had a yogurt, but it still wasn't enough. This is a you play blueberry situation. I'm hungry. Okay, this is this is foolish. <laughs> so yeah, I have a lot of editing to do. I have a lot of editing to do. I'm happy today. I did film two videos today, one yesterday. My goal was three today, but it's so what do you say? Gloomy, dreary, gloomy outside that I don't want it to look so gloomy in my next video. So I'm gonna wait and do that a different day. It is what it is. I have made quite a bit of progress and I'll take that as it is. And that is the end of this week's vlog. I don't do outros, but I'm remembering to do it today. Thanks for chilling with me all week.